Okay, now we're going to uh, delve into the final solo section, which uh, appears after uh, another chorus. Um, incidentally, during the, uh, the final chorus, there is uh, a section where the uh, E7 sharp 9 chord is held. Gary again is just playing some, some single note ideas around the uh, A minor pentatonic, so again, feel free to sort of improvise. Um, this next solo fuses the main melody that we've been looking at throughout um, and gradually as the uh, song concludes Gary uh, adds more and more excitement to the solo by playing much faster pentatonic phrases. I'm going to uh, break it down into very very small bite sized chunks so that we can make a sense of everything and uh, we'll kick off with the, uh, the first section, here we go. Okay, uh, started off with the uh, original figure. Then from the 12th fret of the G. A little run on the B string, 10, 12, 13. Now we rake across the strings and play 10 on the B. 12 on the B. Bend that up a semitone. 13 on the B upper whole tone. 15 on the B upper whole tone. So I play that for you nice and slowly. test for your string bending that section, making sure that you get all the notes to pitch and also working on your vibrato as well. Remember trying to put you know, plenty of feel uh, into the piece. And uh, here comes the next section. It starts off with the same melodic phrase. Then from the 12 on the G. Then we play 13 on the B, on uh, top E. <laughs> then bend 15 up on the B. Then let down, just play 15 on the B. Then 13 on the B. So you've got Then 10, 12, and 13 on the B. Play 12 on the B. So it's bending the 13 up, a whole tone. Then settle on the 12 on the B. Then 10 on the B. Bend the 12 on the G, up a quarter tone. Play 10 on the B string, put those three together. Then we have uh, this next lick where we bend 12 up on the G. We play the B string twice, then bend 12 on the G up again, and play 10 on the B, so you get... Then we start the next bar with 10 on the B, then 12 up a tone, play the B twice at the 10, 
one more time. Then bend the 12 up again. And then play 10 to 13 on the B. And then 10 and 12 on the E. Play that lick for you slowly. Put it together with the other sections nice and slowly. Okay, let's break down the next few bars of the solo. Okay, for that lump, we uh, start off by bending 12 on the top E up a semitone. At this point, we uh, switch from the neck pickup to the bridge pickup to get a brighter, more aggressive tone. So bend 12 up a semitone, switch. then up to 15 on the top E, then bend 15 on the B twice, then 13 to 15 on the B, 14 on the G, and then 13 and 15 on the B, so you get Okay, now we enter into one of uh, Gary's signature fast pentatonic licks. We're adding a couple of extra notes um, around the pattern as well. I'll break it down for you. Okay, we start off by playing 10 and 13 on the B. Bend the 13 slightly sharp. Then 10 and 12 on the top E. And then bend up 12 by a semitone. Release it and pull off to 10 on the top E. 12 on the top E. 13 on the B. 10 on the top E. Pull off 13 to 10 on the B. 12 on the G, then hammer 12, sorry, 10 to 13 on the B, play 10 on the top E, and then bend 13 up a whole tone on the B. So you get a lick like this, play it slowly. A little faster. Once you get your fingers around the pattern, uh, they start to fall into place. Um, just try and make sure that you, you cram enough notes into the bar. That's the thing we're playing uh, quickly over blues. Sometimes it's very difficult to pinpoint exactly uh, where on the beat the note should fall. So, you know, use a little bit of uh, feel and artistic license. The next part of the solo then, we play after the uh, bending up on the 13 on the B. So you come out of that. Now play 12 on the uh, B string, and then a fast trill, 10, 12, 10. Nine on the B, 10, bend that up. All on the B string. Now we play nine on the G, drop down to five on the G and get quite an aggressive sound. Bend the string by pulling it down. And slide it away. If I put it together with the other lick, you can uh, hear how it should sound.
Okay, make sure you really work on getting a, a very wide, aggressive um, vibrato. Here's the next section. Start off by playing three on the bottom E. Open A to three on the A. Then bend five on the A by pulling it down and then releasing it. Then slide three up to seven on the D string. Then slide five up to seven on the D string. And then play 10 back to 7 on the D. Now slide 10 up to 12 on the D. I'll play that slowly for you. Now we just go across from 12 on the D to 10 on the G and B. Pull off 13 to 10 on the B. Play 12 on the B, so put that together. Fast trill, 10, 12, uh, 10 on the B. 12 on the G. 10 on the B, 13 on the B. Then bend 15 on the B, up a whole tone. Grab 15 on the top E and then rebend. Let the 15 down and pull off to 13. And then bend the 15 up again. And then play 13 on the B, bend that slightly and play 10 on the top E. I'll just recap that section for you nice and slowly so you can hear all those licks uh, blending into each other.